Hello Primary High. Today we will talk about dividing by powers of 10 and relations and powers of 10. To divide by 10, 100, 1000, move the decimal point to the left. 10, move the decimal point one place to the left. 100, two places to the left. 1000, three places to the left. One place according to we have here a zero in the 10. Two places, two zeros in the 100. Three places according to three zeros in 1000. Okay. 14.36 divided by 10. Divided, move to the left, move back to the left. Take the point with you when moving. So we will move one step. Your answer it will be 1.436. See, we'll take the point here, the point will set here. This is your answer. Second, okay, we have uh, 5.87 divided by 100. Okay, so it's on the left, it has no value. We can ignore it. Now, take the point and back two steps according to two zeros in 100. First step, from here to here. Second step, from here to here. The point will set here, 0 0.0587. Now, we have here divided by 1000. So, move the decimal point to the left three places, three moves back. One, two, three. The point will set between two and five. Two point five six nine eight. Okay. Fifty-seven thousand four hundred thirty-five divided by ten. Okay. Now this number has no point. So we will move back, but from which position? Start moving from once. One step back. From here to here again, from here to here. The point will set here between 3 and 5. As you see, when we divide the whole number by 10, we put a decimal point after one digit from the right, yes, means move back. Now, we will move back to places, to the left. Okay, start from the ones. And count back two steps. One, two. The point will sit here between four and three. Yes. Five, seven, four, point thirty. Now we will move back three steps. There is no point to start from the one's place and count the three steps back. One, two, three. The point will be between seven and four. Now, to divide by the inverse of ten and the inverse of hundred and the inverse of multiplication. Uh, one thousand. Zero point one. Move the decimal point one place to the right. 
zero point to zero one, note that this will point two places to the right. Zero point zero zero one, note that this will point three places to the right. Or in other words, divide. By divide, convert or change it into multiplication. This is divide sign, okay? So we will move back. And also when you see 0 0.1 is the inverse of uh, 10, we will also move back. So divide. On divide, convert into multiplication. So we will solve this problem according to multiplication system. Move the decimal point to the right one digit. So we will take the point to the right one digit. Again. Divide, and this is also divide. Divide, divide, convert into multiplication. What do you do in a multiplication? Move the decimal point to the right. How many digits according to how many digits in front of the decimal point? We have here two. So we will move to the right two steps. First step and second step after uh, zero. Second step here. Another one. Divide, and also this is divide. Divide, divide, convert into multiplication. We will take the point to the right, according to how many moves, how many digits here in front of the decimal point. One, two, three. The point will set between six and three. This is second move up, and here the first move for the first problem. Here, three moves. Okay, now find the result of each of the following. The first one, this is the answer. Okay, let us see how to get this. Here divided whole, whole hundred. So move the decimal point to the left. How many moves? Two moves. Take the point and move back two moves. One, two, seven point four five three six. Now Divide and also this is divide. Divide on divide will convert it into multiplication. Multiplication move the decimal point to the right. But here the problem has no decimal point. I start moving from the ones and move two steps to the right. Like this. One, two. Into space or into places. We will add two zeros. Here, this is my point, it's okay. Divide and also divide. Divide and divide will convert into multiplication. As a multiplication, do take the decimal point and move to the right according to how many digits in front of the decimal point. So we will move one step right. We will take the point with us, we're moving from here to here. Between 3 and 8, 73.89. Okay. Yes. Now, complete each conversation, then write a multiplication and the division equation right with the same answer. This is a metric system chart for length. Kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter. From big to small, we'll do multiplication. From 
kilometers to meter multiplied by 1,000 meters to centimeter multiplied by 100 centimeters to millimeter multiplied by 10. From small to big, millimeter to centimeter divided by 10, or you can multiply by the entrance of 10. 1 over 10 is 0 0.1 centimeter to meter divided by 100 or times by 0 0.01 meters to kilometer divided by 1,000 or you can multiply by the entrance of 1,000. Here, we want you to convert between centimeter to meter. Now, this is the rule. Concentrate on the letter beside the number, centimeter. Centimeter is smaller than or greater than meter. Smaller than. So, from small to big, we should divide. Divide by what? By 100. Divide means move back, move left. How many digits? Two, because we have here two zeros. So we will move from where we have here no point from once. One, two, five point twelve. If we want this problem again to get the same result but with the multiplications, okay. First up, we divide by whole one hundred. If we convert it at into multiplication, so multiplication by the inverse of 100. 1 over 100 is 0 0.01. So we will write here 0 0.01 to get the same result. This is uh, for divided by the by whole to get the first. Okay. Now we have here 700 gram equals 0 0.7 kilogram. Now this is a chart for kilogram. Kilogram for the heavy objects and gram for the heavy uh, light objects. From big to small, don't forget to multiply by one thousand only one thousand. From small to big, divide by one thousand or if you want to put a multiplication, okay, don't forget to end with 1,000. 0 0.00. Now, we have here 700 gram. Gram or kilogram, which one is big? Sure, kilogram. But the letter beside the number is only gram. So he asked it here to convert between small to big. From small to big, we should divide. Divide by a whole 1,000. So we will write here 700 divided by 1,000. Divided means move back to the left. Take the decimal point and move back to the left three steps back. Or if you haven't a decimal point, start moving from the one's place and count the three steps back. One, two, three. The point will set here, so we have our answers is zero point seven. If we do it by a multiplication, so multiplication by what to get the same result by the inverse, zero point zero zero one. Okay. Now, 2,345 milliliter equals a half milliliter. This number, this is my number, and milliliter, the letter beside the number is smaller than liter. Don't forget, from big to small, multiply by 1,000. From small to big, divide by 1,000, or multiply by 0.00. .00. Here, if we want to solve this problem by divided, so divided by 1,000 means count uh, three steps back to the left. We have it here in this small point, so we will start moving from the one's place. One, two, three. 
the point will sit here, 2.345. If we do it by multiplication, so multiplication by the inverse of 1,000, 0 0.001. Okay, this is divided, so we will back, count back three steps back. We will get the same result, 2.345. Okay, I hope you understand our lesson today and thank you for listening. See you soon.